Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do updates on your Surface Pro 8. So, the reason why updates are so important is because Windows 8 is a new operating system. So you want to do updates as frequently as possible because there's a, there, with any new operating system, there's always a lot of bugs in the beginning. And we want to minimize any kind of uh, hardship that you have with this device. So how you would do it is we would swipe from the right and we would bring up our menu right here. We would go into settings and then we would go into change PC settings right here at the bottom. You'll see the screen load up and here we are. So the main thing you want to do is go to right here at the bottom. Windows Update. And even though this is a new device, it says, you know, you, you have 15 updates that you want to install. So we can check for updates and see if it's 15 or see if it's maybe even more. Um, and this is really important because this is a brand new device and it already has 15 updates waiting for it that you should install immediately. Uh, this is always important um, to do and even places like the cell computers, such as Best Buy or Fry's, will generally charge you for this to update your device. So it's one thing that's very important that um, you install updates. So, so these are all the updates and it's telling you, you know, you have all these different things, you know, updating and explore, all these kind of things and all that. Now, if you want to choose, you can actually choose which updates you will install. So you can actually choose, you know, these are 16 updates available. And let me go right here. And I can actually select any off or any that I want on. So right now it automatically doesn't do the NT framework because I don't really need it. It's not a server. But um, any ones I can choose to be on or off. So uh, this is uh, mainly where you go. And then, of course, I'm just going to click install. And then it's going to start installing. Now, after it's done installing, it will ask you to turn it off. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions on uh, updates and which ones you should update and which ones you shouldn't update, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to always help you out with that, okay? This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.